Well, certainly we're seeing uh, increasing signs of a sustainable recovery in the UK, both across all the regions and across many sectors. And we're starting to see that translate now into increasing skill shortages in areas like IT, technology, uh, engineering, a number of different disciplines, even in areas like finance uh, in terms of compliance, risk management, etc. The UK is suffering today from a talent mismatch. That means that employers are increasingly finding it difficult to find the right skills for the opportunities that they are creating. And in fact, when you look across Europe, only countries such as Spain, Portugal and Ireland are struggling with a greater mismatch than what we're seeing in the UK today. The government could certainly do more to help businesses to reach out into the market to find the talent that they need, whether that is allowing businesses greater access into the, the markets around the world, particularly outside the EU, making it easier for businesses to find and then attract into the, into the UK the kind of world-class talent that they may be struggling to find domestically. But then in the longer term, government has got a role to play to ensure that our educational systems are tuned in with the sorts of skills that the, that the industries here are going to need both today and in the future. One country that has done a particularly good job, in my view, at looking at how education and business can, can work in tune is Germany and the way that the German system has embedded apprenticeships and vocational training to ease the transition from, uh, for school leavers into the world of work. The UK has certainly made a lot of progress with apprenticeship schemes, something like half a million apprenticeships per year in the UK today. However, I think there's further to go. I'm in favour of Boris Johnson's approach, but I don't think it goes deep and far enough. It's limited towards fashion and technology. I think we could be looking broader at the whole world of science and technology and engineering. Equally, I don't think it should be restricted to just London, because we see a number of industries around the whole of the UK that today are struggling to find the skills they need. Given the talent mismatch that we're seeing today and employers struggling to find the right skills, then clearly there's a long way that we can go from here to actually improve the way educational systems are generating the kind of skills that industry is going to need for the future. We're seeing skill shortages across a whole range of different sectors, whether that's IT and technology, engineering, in particular in areas like civil engineering, energy engineering, healthcare, education, even in the world of financial services, we're seeing shortages of skills in areas such as compliance and risk management. I think it's a little unfortunate that all of the political parties have just started to address immigration as, as a, as a catch-all phrase. And I think it's time that we started to break down immigration and look at it more as skilled migration and unskilled labour migration. At the moment in the UK, undoubtedly a number of companies are struggling to find the people that they need to fill the roles that they're creating. The implication of leaving those jobs unfilled is actually lower GDP growth, lost opportunities for that company, lower investments and ultimately it will lead to lower future job creation for the domestic workforce.